How's it going YouTube? This is Gaming with GeForce and I have yet another tutorial for you guys today. This is actually going to be a revisit and an update to my Dex Nav chaining tutorial that you may have seen before on my channel. I believe it is probably the most viewed video on my channel. It's working around uh, 30,000 views. So um, I've been looking at it and kind of going through some things and I realized that it, the tutorial was the first one on YouTube and we didn't really know a whole lot about it and now there's a lot of extra things that needed to be added to it so I'm going to revamp it here today and uh, to get started I'm just going to go over some things that help during chaining um, the first thing being like you're going to need a lot of super or max repels so make sure you have plenty of those also a thing that can help a lot is a Pokemon that has the move Sweet Scent and if you're that you know crazy shiny hunter that likes to use their shinies in battle you would need a Pokemon with the synchronize ability with the preferred nature that you would want your shiny to be so like you could grab like Abra, Kadabra or Alakazam um, Zatu there's there's some that have that ability um, also uh, another thing that will help is having a higher search level on a dex nav and what I mean by that is I will click on a Pokemon here um, I think I have most of these maxed out um, Elgem if you look at the top right of the bottom screen which is in the corner the search level is 999 so that would mean that is maxed um, so that helps with the Pokemon having a higher chance of being a higher level having egg moves and higher IVs and hidden abilities and stuff like that so that's definitely something you want to think about also another thing is you're gonna want a place that has like a lot of grass kinda like where I'm standing it's not really a large patch of grass per se but there's three patches surrounding where I'm standing so that means the Pokemon could pop up in any of the three uh, patches and you'll be good to go also make sure you got plenty of healing items like revives full restores elixirs or ethers because you're gonna need to restore your power points power points are a good way to keep track of your chain so like if you use the same move every battle like let's say you keep using um, knock off or whatever you're using what when it's full you know the PP is full on that move just count down how many times you use that attack and then once you run all those out you would go to the next attack and then just you know add those two together how many you've used and that would tell you what your chain is uh, also the probably the biggest and most important thing is you're going to need a ton of patience because you are not guaranteed a shiny by any means using this method but it will definitely increase your chances so have fun shiny hunting out there if you're doing that so to begin this tutorial I'm gonna go over a few things involving the actual chaining portion of your Dex Nav adventure first of all you would need to have already captured the Pokemon that you are trying to chain for as you can see I have completed the area here so that's always good when you're looking for a Pokemon and when you click on the desired Pokemon on the Dex Nav you can see the search level of the Pokemon in the in the corner as I said before so you know Pokemon like Swablu and you know things that appear in hordes are a lot easier to get a higher search level on because you can sit there and just horde chain them like with Sweet Scent and then just keep knocking them out with Surf or whatever you're using that his, hits multiple Pokemon um, that is probably the best way to increase the search level so like Voltorb, Magnemite and all those Pokemon like that that appear in hordes you can easily get a higher search level by using Sweet Scent or using Honey if you have Honey in your party just keep in mind that you cannot use Sweet Scent in the rain and kinda like the area where I'm standing at it likes to rain a lot it seems like here so uh, just keep that in mind when you're chaining and when you're planning on going to these routes okay so the things that the dex nav displays I will actually go over this because I want you guys to be able to see this so we're gonna search for an L gem here and one should pop up I'm not sure where it's going to be at I'm assuming it's down here when you get close enough the dex nav will tell you about the Pokemon so down at the bottom screen you can see that it is a it has 
an egg move, which is guard swap. So that's what the exclamation points mean. If the exclamation points are there next to like the ability, that means it has a hidden ability. If it's next to the level, that just means that it's a higher level. And you can also see that there's no potential here, so that means there's uh, no chance of it having high IVs. So we're going to go ahead and just run into this guy really quick. So basically that's what the exclamation points mean. So just so you know. Um, now I can talk to you about the potential stars. Since uh, there, were, there was a lot of questions asked. I know when I made the last video about these stars. And I actually, I'll be honest with you, I wasn't real sure about that. Because like I said, the game had just come out. Um, it was November. And I actually literally had the first one of those on YouTube. So... I was just trying to get it out there to you guys so you guys could shiny hunt and anyway if I can find one that has okay so this one has two stars as you can see the first move is uh, ally switch which is another egg move and the ability is hidden also because you can see the red exclamation point to the right of the ability um, analytic is the ability so that's a hidden ability and the two stars there means that it has at least two perfect IVs. Now you can have more than two IVs or three IVs if all three stars are lit up. It just means that the other IVs are random that are on the Pokemon. So basically the higher your search level, um, the higher your chance of having high IVs will be. And as you chain, you will see that it increases. So three stars means it has a minimum of three IVs, perfect IVs, and that other the other three are random, the remaining three. So we're just going to go back and search for another one of these. And I would just continue to chain this for a minute. Just so you guys can see. So now that we've talked about basically everything that the DexNav does as a function, um, let's go ahead and talk about the actual chain itself. Like I'm in a chain right now. I'm on a chain of three. Yes, this will be three after I take this one out. So um, every time you reach your fifth consecutive chain, so like when I hit five, and then 10, 15, 20, 25, etc. Um, it guarantees that the Pokemon will have at least two exclamation points. So basically there's a higher chance for egg moves. There's a higher chance for hidden ability. And as you can see, I just broke my chain there. Um, so we'll go ahead and actually when you break your chain... That's another thing. I should go over this right now while this happened. If you break your chain, if you're in a tight area where there's not a lot of like grass, which I'm not, I still want to show you this. You can hop on your bike and just hop instead of taking 20 steps, and it will reset the dex nav. So another Pokemon will show up. And basically what you're going to want to do is sneak up on that Pokemon, even if it's not... The Pokemon you're looking for and KO it so that you can start a new chain okay so this one's a three star that's pretty cool um okay back to what I was saying every time you reach your fifth consecutive chain it guarantees that the Pokemon will have at least two exclamation points and there should be at least one potential star and and have um 10 levels added to its base level so the base level will go up as you chain and I'm sorry about the like quick kind of interruption we had there but I just want to cover stuff as it happens so that like if it's happening to you guys you would know exactly what's going on so like you saw that I broke my chain and that I started a new chain and I just showed you how to do that okay so it's over here I just showed you how to do that as far as like resetting the dex nav you have to um, you have to take 20 steps so the best thing to do is honestly 
what I do is I just keep the acro bike registered as my only item so that way when I press Y I hop straight on the bike and I just stay in the same spot I'm in and I hop then I get right back off the bike and it kind of saves your repels too so you're not like wearing your repels out okay so let's talk about um, things that will break your chain so as you saw that you know I wasn't sneaking I broke my chain because the Pokemon was around so walking not sneaking when you're too close to the Pokemon um, definitely will break your chain and then you will have to take 20 steps or hop 20 times on the acro bike to reset the dex nav not using a repel during your chain and running into random wild Pokemon that's I mean that's not chaining itself so you're not really doing a chain when you do that so you've broken your chain if you've already started one and then you know you didn't reactivate your repel okay so that covers that and also running away from a, a wild Pokemon so if you get a, if you come across a Pokemon that you know or you just accidentally run or what have you if you run away it will break your chain so you have to KO the Pokemon or you have to capture it and I just found a freaking shiny while I was making a tutorial you gotta be kidding me so there you go guys that just shows you right there that the chances that you can find a shiny um, I don't even know what to say about this <laughs> that is freaking awesome um, okay so let's catch this thing really quick I don't have any attacks that I can hit this with without like destroying it <laughs> so um, let's try an ultra ball and I just got a critical capture on top of that what in the heck is going on here Pokemon loves me today <laughs> okay so I'm so glad that I just come across a shiny uh, I'm so excited that I, I don't even know what to do with myself um, I've never, I've actually never caught a live shiny like this on the Dex Nav doing a tutorial. So, um, back to what I was saying is, uh, you have to KO, which means knock out if you don't know, or capture the Pokemon in order to continue your chain. Um, I'm also going to include this as a precaution because it's not really confirmed if it messes up your chain, but I will show you what I'm talking about because, you know, why take the risk? So you use the circle pad to sneak, obviously. You can see me sneaking. But if you watch the bottom screen, I think it's the bottom screen. Let's say you're you're walking and you let go of the circle pad and then you start using the D-pad. So if you see that, um, when I switch between the D-pad and the circle pad, the bottom screen will flicker one time. And I believe that might, you know, it could ruin your chain since with the Pokey Radar, like in the older games. You couldn't like hop on a bike or use the roller skates on the uh, X and Y and it would, you know, mess your chain up. So, um, just don't do that as a safety. I've always done it that way. And, um, I think that's pretty much it, you guys. So, if you have any questions, just comment below if I left something out. But, you can see as living proof that, you know, my method works here. I just found a shiny within, like, um... God, what was the chain of that? I, I broke it on a four chain. Uh, so, honestly, I, I think I just got that on like a two chain. So, we just called a shiny shuppet during the tutorial. And I think I'm just going to call it a day there for this. Because um, I went over everything that I know. And this is everything that I do personally. If you follow you know, another tutorial or you have another method and it works... That's fine. Uh, actually, if you'd like to share it, uh, you can do that in the comments below. Um, so, again, yeah, thanks for watching the video, guys. And I hope you found this informative, and I hope it helps you find lots of shinies. And I will see you guys next time. Have a nice day.